Hello and Assalamu alaikum. So this is the part of uh, lecture number 17. We will continue with the types of uh, photovoltaic or solar cells. So in this particular part of the lecture, I will discuss about the multi-junction uh, uh, photovoltaic cell or multi-junction cell. So a single layer PN uh, uh, junction layer converts only red and infrared uh, light to electricity. So the uh, remaining uh, uh, spectrum or bandwidth of the light is uh, uh, totally wasted and it is not basically being converted into electricity. So photovoltaic uh, cell efficiency is maximum when band gap equals energy in the uh, light photons. The layering of uh, multiple uh, different band gap semiconductors harvest more uh, electricity because uh, they are capable of uh, uh, converting the different uh, bands uh, rather than uh, being uh, using only red and infrared uh, spectrum of uh, sunlight. So uh, multiple layers are used uh, that are of different semiconductor materials to convert a broader, a broader uh, spectrum of sunlight into electricity thereby uh, by, uh, improving the uh, efficiency. Uh, which is low in case of uh, other uh, semiconductor solar cell technologies. Reported electricity uh, electric uh, efficiency of uh, uh, reported uh, efficiency of gallium indium phosphide or uh, gallium arsenide or uh, uh, germanium based uh, semiconductor solar cell uh, triple junction cell of uh, 34 percent is uh, recorded under concentrated uh, sunlight. Uh, gallium indium phosphide, gallium arsenide and germanium cells being uh, widely used in uh, satellite uh, power system and uh, efforts are being made so that they can maybe soon trickle down to uh, uh, terrestrial applications. So this is an example of uh, multi-junction cell which has different layers and each uh, layer, uh, for example, this layer will uh, pass, um, uh, will absorb certain uh, band or color of uh, sunlight and uh, the remaining is transferred to the uh, lower uh, residing cells. So let me discuss. Uh, the multi-junction uh, solar cells in details, they are the solar cells with uh, multiple PN junctions made of different semiconductor materials like this, this is gallium, gallium phosphide, gallium arsenide, uh, this is the germanium and they have different uh, substrates. They use multiple semiconductor ma materials that uh, allow absorbance of uh, a broader range of uh, wavelengths uh, improving the cells overall uh, um, absorption of sunlight and hence the uh, sunlight electrical energy uh, conversion efficiency. Traditional uh, single cell uh, uh, single junction uh, solar cells have a maximum theoretical efficiency of 33.16 percent approximately and uh, theoretically an infinite number of junctions would have a limiting efficiency of uh, about 86.8 percent under heavily highly concentrated sunlight currently the best lab example of uh, uh, traditional crystalline uh, silicon or cc silicon solar cells have efficiencies between uh, 25 to 20 percent uh, while lab examples of multi-junction cells have uh, demonstrated the performance of efficiency of over 46 uh, percent under, under uh, concentrated sunlight commercial example of uh, uh, tandem cells uh, are widely available at 30% uh, under one sun illumination and improved to around 40% under concentrated sunlight. However, uh, this efficiency is uh, gained at the cost of increased complexity and manufacturing price. Uh, to date, uh, their higher price and higher price to performance ratio have limited their use to special goals, uh, notably uh, aerospace, uh, where their high power to weight ratio is uh, desirable. The terrestrial uh, application 
uh, these uh, uh, solar uh, in uh, cell are emerging in uh, concentration photovoltaics uh, concentrated photovoltaic uh, uh, photovoltaic cells with a growing number of uh, installations around the world tandem fabrication uh, techniques have been used to improve the performance of existing uh, design in particular the techniques can be applied to lower cost thin film solar cells using amorphous silicon as opposed to conventional crystalline silicon to produce a cell uh, with about 10% efficiencies uh, that is lightweight and flexible this approach has been uh, used by say, uh, several commercial uh, vendors but these products are currently limited to certain uh, niche uh, roles like uh, roofing materials cells made from multiple material layers can have uh, multiple band gaps and will therefore respond to multiple uh, wavelengths uh, of light capturing and converting some of the energy that would otherwise be lost to uh, relaxation uh, as discussed uh, for instance uh, if uh, uh, one had a cell with two band gaps in it uh, one uh, turned into a red light and uh, one is uh, other one is turned tuned uh, onto let's say for example purple light then the extra energy in green um, uh, and blue and uh, other uh, uh, band gaps uh, will be uh, lost only to the band gaps of uh, green sensitive uh, material while the energy of uh, uh, let's say red yellow orange and brown are lost only due to uh, only to the band gap of uh, red or purple uh, sensitive material following analysis uh, 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 similar to those performed for single band uh, band gap devices it can be demonstrated that perfect band gaps for two gap devices are at 0 0.77 uh, ev and 1.70 uh, ev conventionally light of particular wavelengths does not interact strongly with materials that are uh, of bigger band gap uh, it means that uh, you can make multi junction cell by layering the different materials on top of each other like in this picture shortless uh, shortest wavelength uh, biggest uh, which have the biggest band gap on the top and increasing through the body of cell as the photons have to pass through the cells of uh, cells to uh, reach the proper layer to be absorbed uh, transparent conductors need to be uh, used to uh, collect the electrons uh, being generated at uh, each layer producing a tandem cell is not an easy task largely due to uh, the thickness of the materials and the uh, difficulties extracting the current between the layer the easy solution to uh, is to uh, uh, use uh, mechanically two separate uh, thin film solar cells and then wire them together separately uh, uh, outside the cell this technique is uh, widely used by amorphous uh, silicon solar cells uh, unisolar uh, solar uh, products uh, use three uh, such uh, layers to uh, reach efficiencies of around 9% lab uh, examples using more uh, exotic uh, thin film materials have demonstrated to have an efficiency of uh, about 30 percent 